school got to Governor Ige, we had so many people give testimony, give call his office, send emails. So I don't know what, it, the hard part is there's lobbyists that come into the back door and make deals with these guys. So it's not, it can't be over. We can't accept it. This is gonna affect everything. Military leases, Boakuloa, gonna affect Mauna Kea. It's gonna affect um, <clears throat> developers. It's gonna affect Hawaiian homelands. It's gonna affect all of these different entities. Corporations on Hawaiian homelands, now they're gonna be able to get um, forever leases. Not even Hawaiians get that. We cannot even do that. So that's why we're, we're here. Um, we just gotta make some kind of stance today. So, cause this is so heavy. This is a sad day for Hawaiians. This is the day when, again, they're taking our aina. That's the part of it. They're really, they're taking our aina today. 1.30, the governor is gonna make his announcement that he, what bills he's gonna veto. So, that's why we're kind of doing it right now. So we're gonna line up now. Um, <clears throat> 13 times around, gang. So if you guys coming late, just come join us. We're gonna be going around about a few times. I have this mic because I'm gonna um, actually announce to the tourists who are on the side um, why we're even doing this. The airport is on Hawaiian lands. The state doesn't pay rent. The state sees these lands and is now supposed to be using these lands for the betterment of our people. And But now what they wanna do is they wanna give it to developers for a hundred years. This is so heavy. This is not over. This is not over. Okay, so we're gonna hell it. everybody come out but I want to mahalo everybody that came out um, to do this action it's real last minute um, I thought the governor was going to I was optimistic that the governor was going to do something Pono today but true to their to the way the state of Hawaii is they cannot they don't want to do anything Pono they really selling Hawaii to the developers right now this is our land. You talking? We're talking about 1.4 million acres of state lands that was taken from the Hawaiian Kingdom, and we're talking about 200,000 acres of Hawaiian homelands. Hawaiians can only get 99-year leases if they're Hawaiian homestead lessees. Developers gonna be able to lease our land, Hawaiian homelands. Hawaiian Kingdom Crown and Government lands for 75 years, add another 40 years. When they want to renew that, they can add another 40 years. So this is going to affect all Aina in Hawaii, all Aina. We did everything we could to try to stop this using the process. We tried to use the process, but the process wasn't working for us. Even even to because we had hundreds of testimonies, thousands of emails, thousands of phone calls, they still never listened. We sat outside the governor's house for for three weeks, four weeks, and they still didn't listen because they don't care about Kanaka. This system doesn't work for us. It doesn't work for Hawaiians. It's heva. Anyway, oh, okay, just went on my rant. But anyway, we're going, we're going to Helen now. Um, we're, um, come join us. If you guys come late, that's fine. We, we're going to be here for a little while. Try, I'm going to try to live feed everything. Um, we are going to go really slow. We got a nice caravan behind. And we're going to, we're going to do this. So... The governor is gonna make his announcement at 
1.30, we are going to be going really slow on the, in the airport, which is also Hawaiian lands. Lands, they don't pay rent. Hawaiians make up 40% of the houseless in Hawaii. It's a million dollars to buy a house in Hawaii. One million dollars. They selling Hawaii to the developers, to the highest bidder. They taking our land and they're gonna sell it. This bill is, and this bill is gonna do so much damage to the trust. The state doesn't own the land. Let's remember that. This is not state land. They don't own it. They're trustees. They're supposed to hold this land in trust for our people until such time as we are ready to form our own nation. We have unrelinquished rights to these lands. Unrelinquished. Even the United States recognizes that in case law. They recognized it in the U.S. Apology Bill. In the um, State Admissions Act. They recognize that these lands were Hawaiian Kingdom Crown and Government lands and that we have unrelinquished rights and that the state is only a trustee. But the trustee now wants to give forever leases to developers and to the military. They are the worst trustees, the worst. And I would just say this, a lot of Hawaiians are angry. People, people are crying, but I under, totally understand it. We did everything we could. We, we went to the process, we emailed the, the legislators even before they had a hearing. We went and gave testimonies. We were at every hearing. We gave testimonies at every hearing, hundreds. We emailed, called the legislators. When the bill passed, we emailed, we called Governor Ike. Not just us, not just um, Hawaiian groups. Um, other groups did, the church did. The Episcopalian Church sent a letter. The uh, um, JECL, the Japanese American Citizens League, um, the Native Hawaiian Legal Corps. The point of it is we have the legal and moral high ground in this issue. We do. We have the legal and moral high ground. This is our aina. This is not their land. And now they want to sell it. They want to give it to developers. When Hawaiians are struggling to survive, right now. 40% of the houseless in Hawaii are Hawaiians. Yet we only make up 24% of the population. Why is that? It's set up that way. It's set up to keep us the way we are. The system is set up the way to keep us the way, to keep us oppressed in the system. So just we're just heading out now. It's going to be our first round around um, and again if you guys are late coming um, just jump in just jump in because this is too important not to say something not to make a stand we've we already put our voices on the record many many times that this bill that this measure is no good and we have to do something. So I know there's going to be other actions coming up as well. Um, there are other people that have contacted me that want to do other actions. <clears throat> so, and I, I just want to say, we did everything we could to work within the system. So this is, uh, we, we have to have our voices heard. They don't hear us. We can talk to you know, we have no more voice and they still not going to listen. They're not going to listen. And whoever this bill was made for is going to, it, it, this bill is scary because we don't know who this bill was really made for. Who specifically this bill was made for. So here we go. We're just going up on the airport now. So just go super slow. Okay, so we're 
here on the on ramp. This is the bread and butter of the tourist industry. The industry that has caused so much damage to our environment, that has exploited our culture, that has um, basically sucked Hawaii dry. So here we are. This is Hawaiian lands. This is Hawaiian lands. This is Hawaiian lands. Hawaii, the state of Hawaii doesn't pay rent for this land. This is Hawaiian lands. This is Hawaiian lands. This is Hawaiian lands that the state doesn't pay rent for. They took this land from Hawaiians and now Hawaiians are living houseless on the streets. This is Hawaiian lands. Heva, Heva. This is Hawaiian land. The state of Hawaii doesn't pay rent to Hawaiians for Hawaiian lands. They are the worst trustees. They don't own this land, it's our land. is going to sell our land to the highest bidder, the developer. Today, Governor Ige decided not to veto House Bill 499, which is going to give developers 100 year long leases of our land. after your vacation here. Please know that the state of Hawaii oppresses Hawaiians. They've stolen our land. This is Hawaiian land that you just arrived on. The state of Hawaii took this land from Hawaiians. Now Hawaiians have the worst statistics in the state of Hawaii. They make up 40% of the houseless in Hawaii. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. Hawaii is not for sale. Our lands are not for sale. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. Hawaiian Kingdom Crown and Government land. The U.S. stole our land. This land is, this airport is built on Hawaiian land. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home after your vacation. Please have respect for our aina and our culture. This is stolen Hawaiian land. The state of Hawaii and the U.S. took our land, overthrew our kingdom illegally. This is stolen Hawaiian land. The state doesn't pay a penny.
stolen Hawaiian lands. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. This lands belong to Hawaiians. The state of Hawaii stole this land from Hawaiians, and now they're gonna actually sell it to the highest bidder, the developers. And here comes the cops. Um, this is stolen Hawaiian lands. These lands belong to the Kanaka Maoli people. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home after your stay here. Please have respect for Hawaiian lands and culture. This land is stolen. It was taken illegally. Our kingdom was overthrown illegally. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. These lands were taken by the U.S. No rent is paid to Hawaiians for this land. This airport is built on stolen Hawaiian lands. No rent. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. Welcome to Hawaii. Please have respect for our land, our culture, and go home at the end of your vacation here. The state of Hawaii and the US has taken Hawaiian lands. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. Welcome to Hawaii. Go home at the end of your stay. Have respect for our aina and our culture and our people. There is no justice for Hawaiians in Hawaii. No justice for Hawaiians. 128 years. Our kingdom was illegally overthrown. They took two million acres of our land. This airport sits on stolen Hawaiian lands. Welcome to Hawaii. Please respect our aina, our culture, and our people. Go home at the end of your vacation. This airport sits on stolen Hawaiian lands. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home at the end of your vacation. Respect our people, culture, land. This airport is on stolen Hawaiian land, stolen. The state of Hawaii, the US pays no rent to Hawaiians. This airport is on stolen Hawaiian lands. There is no justice for Hawaiians in Hawaii. No justice.
Welcome to Hawaii. Please have respect for Hawaiian aina, culture, and land, and for our people. There is no justice in Hawaii for Hawaiians, none. There is no justice in Hawaii for Hawaiians. They took our land, they don't give us any rent. They don't pay any rent. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home at the end of your stay. Please have respect for Hawaiian land, culture, and people. There is no justice in Hawaii for Hawaiians. This land is stolen from the Hawaiian people. This whole state is stolen lands. This is what happens. They they destroy and you know. Yeah, you need to video. You're holding up traffic. You don't want to get sighted. You need to leave. Now. You're holding up traffic. Go. Okay. So I didn't know you can get sighted or driving slow. There's no minimum speed. I can drive slow. This is our Aina. <laughs> so they just told me I'm gonna get sighted if I don't leave, but I'm just gonna keep going. A um, few of our Kiaki already got pulled over. Um, traffic is really bad over here, so don't come to the airport. <laughs> They're really mad. We're gonna go around, we're just gonna keep going around. Come join. If you guys have if you guys nearby, come join. We're just going around the airport, raising awareness, educating the Lahui and our tourists that are coming in to visit, explaining to them that this is stolen Hawaiian lands, this airport is on stolen Hawaiian lands, immediately taking no rent paid, and that this state there is no justice for hawaiians in the state no justice we don't have no justice and we got to make our own justice for ourselves so if we inconvenience a few tourists then well um imagine how inconvenienced we are 128 years since the illegal overthrow since they seized our lands Just because we're driving slow, they're getting all her butt. Oh, oh she's, he said CRV, yeah? Okay.
license registration proof of insurance, please. Yeah, what am I being pulled over for? Blocking traffic, ma'am. I wasn't, I was this moving. Work. There was no minimum you're, speed limit. There's no minimum speed limit. You're blocking traffic. I'm not blocking traffic. Blocking I traffic was moving. And now you're, it's called blocking traffic now. No. You're blocking the Driving block. slow you're is not a crime. Driving slow is not a crime. It's not it's obstruction. Not a problem, it's a violation. What, what, what is the, what is the minimum speed limit? Is there what? What is the minimum speed limit? Well, what is the minimum speed limit? I want to know, I have my rights. I want to know why I'm being pulled over. You'll see it on the ticket. It's no crime to um, to drive slow. There's no minimum speed limit here. I don't know why I'm being pulled over. You guys are targeting Hawaiians right now. Here. I have no idea you're Yeah. Hawaiian. Yeah, right. Here. You guys are targeting Hawaiians right now. You're blocking traffic now. You're committing a violation. So apparently it's a crime to drive slow, for Hawaiians to drive slow. Targeting Hawaiians. Driving slow. <laughs> so you get pulled over. I'm, there's three, three sheriff cars for pu pulling me over for driving slow. Have a. Going after the other guys with the flags, targeting Hawaiians. Okay, so still on a side, um, pretty much everybody well, not everybody, a lot of people got pulled over and sighted. We only went around once, <laughs> apparently, that was too much of an inconvenience for the tourists. So, um, I'm just getting my ticket now for school. To Miss Sonora Pali. Yes. Uh, like I said, you're getting a, it's called a ticket for competing traffic, okay? So, you have 21 days to take care of this. All the information you need to know is right here. This is at the ROH if you want to look it up for yourself. Okay. To call this is my name, my badge number. You can send it to right here. It's, a mission. it's not a mission of guilt, man. Just understanding why you're getting the ticket. So, the uh, I'm getting excited just for just, I I see I'm looking at what you right. said slow moving vehicle. slow moving vehicle blocking or repeating so traffic. What is the minimum? What is the minimum? You're blocking first, and then you're. What is the you're minimum? In, you're speed you're limit. impeding. Do you understand it, it, what impeding means? No, driving slow is my right because there's no minimum speed limit. If you're in the front car and everybody else is moving slow, you're supposed to move with the, the flow of traffic. The speed limit is to call 15 miles an hour. Maybe five, maybe to call five miles under that. So just like on the freeway. There is no signage. On the freeway, you cannot, you cannot there do. is no signage saying okay. what is the minimum speed limit. I'm not gonna argue with you, man. You there is take, no you signage. Take this to court if you want to take it to court. That's I am gonna take right. it to court. Okay. But I think this is like you're targeting us unfairly. How, how am I targeting you? Because we're Hawaiians. And I saw that I saw that sheriff chasing after the other Hawaiian with the flags on his car. I didn't see a flag, any flags on any car. Yeah, yeah. All I saw was a white vehicle blocking that. the traffic. But you're targeting us because we're oh. Hawaiians. Because we're Hawaiian. Oh. Would you do this to a tourist who is driving slow? Yes. Yeah, right. There is no minimum okay. speed limit. Are you not going to sign it? I'll sign it. Okay. There is no minimum speed limit. Okay. Yeah. 
And they were talking about uh, seeing other guys with Hawaiian flags. So they were. Yeah. And he just, they, they were chasing after people with Hawaiian flags on their cars. So this is again targeting no justice in Hawaii for Hawaiians, right? This is stolen Hawaiian lands. Um, they keep doing this shit to us, you know, excuse my language, but I don't see any minimum, um, I don't see any minimum speed limit here. None whatsoever. Um, so just because a few tourists are inconvenienced, it's fine. But when it comes to Hawaiians, when it comes to, that's why there is no justice for Hawaiians in Hawaii. When it comes to Hawaiians and justice for Hawaiians, there is no justice for us in this place, in our own homeland. Anyway, so we're all gonna go meet up at the um, cell phone car lot. I'm gonna go slow still because there is no speed limit minimum. There is no speed limit minimum. Anyway, okay, but anyway, mahalo everybody for tuning in. <laughs> we only went around once, isn't that crazy? Freaking got all nuts. So um, we will be having more actions coming up. So just stay tuned. Um, apparently the governor made his um, announcement today uh, that he is not going to veto House Bill 499 and that um, he's just going to let it pass. Okay, mahalo. Thanks, everybody. House Bill 499, which is a measure that would give forever leases to Hawaiian de to developers of Hawaiian lands. That includes Hawaiian homelands, and it would also help Kualoa extend their lease without having to go through any kind of process, really, the, or the the real process of up to reapplying for a lease. They can just now extend leases. So Hawaii is not gonna be the same ever again, unless we are able to get this measure repealed. Um, and, you know, they always tell us, well, you know, there's a process and you guys should, um, submit testimony via the portal and do things so so you know there is a process for everything but apparently the process don't work the process doesn't work because you know why they don't care um, so a lot of people are upset today you know Tito was crying today um, people were calling me they want to do other actions which is great you know 
I just think that Hawaiians should be angry about this. And pe pretty much anybody who stands for or protects our environment, our waters, all of that, that's all at risk right now. Um, so let me just kind of put it to you very clearly. House Bill 499 is now a law. It's going to become law. It's going to go into the books. And our only recourse at this point is to do actions, educate, continue to educate, um, to sue for breach of trust because the state is a crappy trustee of our Hawaiian lands. Or we can um, work next ledge session to repeal this measure. Stolen Hawaiian lands. This land sits on stolen Hawaiian land. No justice for Hawaiians, none. This is stolen Hawaiian land. No justice for Hawaiians. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home at the end of your vacation. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home at the end of your vacation. Please respect Hawaiian lands, culture, and people. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home at the end of your vacation. Please have respect for Hawaiian lands, people, and culture. vacation. Please go home. Hawaii is not for sale. There is no justice for Hawaiians. None. No justice for Hawaiians. This is stolen Hawaii lands. Please go home at the end of your vacation. This is stolen Hawaiian lands. 
This is stolen Hawaiian land. No justice for Hawaiians. No rent paid 128 years. This is stolen Hawaiian land. Hawaiians in Hawaii. Welcome to Hawaii. Please go home at the end of your trip. Have respect for Hawaiian land, culture, and people. Please go home at the end of your trip. This land is stolen Hawaiian land. Okay, look at this traffic. And let, tell me that you're not going to take nobody. But when Hawaiians inconvenience um, the state or inconveniences tourists or inconveniences industry, then they come after us. But look at this. So I guess being a dumb driver, you know, doesn't qualify. You have to be Hawaiian and drive slow, and then you, they're going to ticket you. <laughs> you have to have the flag. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. What the heck? Yeah, that officer was talking about, oh yeah, look, there's, there's a small flag on that one and there's another No, and then the guy took off. Yeah. So I had three sheriffs pulling me over, you know. Three sheriffs for driving slow. 